Yo, what's up guys? Brian from We Break Hip Hop Dance Company. We're gonna go over a power move called Swipes. Uh, this is one of the introductory power moves uh, that you learn in the beginning of breaking into. This is a precursor for uh, air flares and, and things like that. One-legged flare, I mean one-legged uh, swipes as well. But I'm gonna show you with two, then I'm gonna show you what it looks like with one. Okay, so this is Swipes, okay? Let me show you what it looks like, just in case you're not familiar with the term, okay? I'm gonna turn it this way for a reason you'll see later, okay? So this is swipe. All right, that's a swipe. We're gonna learn how to do that power move there, okay? All right, um, the harder moves get to break in, the more you have to slow down and follow steps very carefully, okay? So make sure you follow, there's a lot of little, little things in this move that can separate you from success or failure, all right? So, I'm facing here to the side. Um, actually, I'm facing you. Okay, so I'm facing you. First thing, first elements of success um, is make sure you have one hand on the ground, other hand up, your hand stays straight the entire time. So when I'm doing this move, if you notice, my hand stays straight. Right there, okay? See so this hand back here is straight, this is straight. This move, the power from this move is in your arms. When you do windmills, um, when you do flares, a lot of those moves, the power is in the hips and the legs. The power in this move is in the arms. So when you swing, it has to be a huge swing, all right? Um, so second, I want to come up, I want to be flat here. Here's an exercise you can do to help you get this move down, okay? So you're here, here with your arm, and then you want to switch. Wind up, switch. Wind up, switch, okay? So you want to be able to do that first. You don't want to do this. Don't do this. Hand, hand, okay? That's, that's called cheating. All right, you don't want to do that. You want to come here, bam, you're in mid air for a, a minute right there, okay? All right, so that's step one. Um, step two, I'm going to show you how you can do this without jumping with your legs, okay? You don't jump with your legs and, again, your cartwheels going to the side, all right? Now you want to be able to stay in the same place, okay? So I'm here, I wind up, I whip, Bam, this hand comes here, this hand goes here. I'm not gonna jump up with my foot right now, okay? I'm just gonna continue to continue showing you the, the arm process. This left hand comes up, there, okay? I'm gonna show you that again. When you end, I'm ending with my right hand. I'm going to my left. I'm doing this move going uh, counterclockwise, right? So I'm going to my left. So I wind up. Switch, this hand goes down, this left hand has to come up, bam, and hit the ground again, okay? That's probably gonna be the most difficult part. Make it your goal to try to stay in the same place when you do it, all right? If I don't, a lot of people make the mistake, this is a mistake a lot of people make, they go here, they do it, they jump, and now I'm on this side, right? But I don't want to do that. I want to stay in the same place, okay? So I, I start here, I finish there, right? Start and finish in the same place. The arms, very, very important. I'm gonna do this move facing the back, okay? So if you follow along in your living room or, or whatever, you can kind of see exactly, you can be facing the same way. So I'm here, wind up, Switch that hand. I'm not going to jump on this. I'm just going to go straight around. This hand comes down. My left hand has to swing up. There. Okay? The jump, all right? When you jump, you want to just jump up, not over there, okay? <clears throat> you swing with your arms. You just jump your feet up a little bit. There's this really cool physics dynamic that happens when you wind this side up, this side is automatically gonna wind that way as well, 
right? If you've had a toy car, you wind up, wind up, wind up, let it go. That is similar. You got, you, your arms are winding up, they go around, and then your legs just jump a little bit, and then they go around, right? So now we're going to do it with the jump. It's an this way. Wind up, arms, jump up, legs. Okay? Try it again. Wind up, arms, legs. Okay? That's the swipe. Um, you also can do swipe with one leg. I learned it originally with one leg. It'll uh, help you to cheat less, okay? Because two legs can do the jump thing, right? But one leg, well, you can't cheat because you only know, do one leg. Everything is exactly the same, except you have to get your butt and your hips in the air, okay? Because you're gonna have one leg up, I have my left leg up, all right? So I'm gonna show you this with my left leg up, okay? Same concept, wind up, okay? That's one leg of swipe, all right? Very same concept. Get the two, I recommend getting two down, doing two and then going into one. So I can do two and then lift my left leg up in the middle of doing two and I'm only landing on my right leg. Okay, we do this one facing here. Then so I'm doing two and I lift the left leg up. All right? So I just went. I just went from swipe to like a freeze, right? That's a more advanced concept. Don't worry about going into that right now, but just focus on the swipe. But it is used to go into different freezes and other combinations. All right, practice.